What's the deal, folks? Welcome to Device Overdose. I am your host, Ty. Are you still on the fence with your dwindling storage situation? If you are checking out this video, there's a good chance the answer to that is yes. So on today's episode, I will be taking a fast look at the MyCloud Home Duo 8 terabyte. I will take a look at the design. I will connect the device to my network and take a look at the features. We are going to chop it up for a little bit. So let's KIM and keep it moving into the video. Network attached storage devices have been gaining traction and this particular device might be a dope solution for a common storage dilemma. Furthermore, if you are looking for a simple but personal cloud option, this 8 terabyte NAS device might be progressive enough to fit your needs. But before we get into that dry ass tech talk we love so much, let's take a look at this apparatus. Now here we have a nice ass device. The system has ventilation cutouts on both the bottom and on the back side. The system does emit some heat, but nothing crazy. I've seen some reviews accuse the device of running hot and being noisy, not the case in my experience. The glossy white plastic top in contrast with the diamond armor bottom looks dope in my opinion. The device has an irreproachable oppressed aesthetic with an unadorned quadrilateral design. Your boy with the five dollar words on deck. My bag. Alright, let's keep it moving. The quick start guide has a code that you will need if for some reason you cannot find the device on your network. Next, flash over to the website for setup or you can download the application. The app has a smooth interface with the device. You can upload or download files like your videos, your photos, your albums, and you can do all of that wirelessly from anywhere, providing you have some sort of network connection. The MyCloud Home Duo 8 terabyte is a non-Wi-Fi device that does require an ethernet connection. Also, the Home Duo allows you to stream a number of full services directly from the system. At the front of the unit, there is an LED indicator light strip that can be deactivated in the settings menu. Another useful feature the Cloud Home Duo offers is remote shutdown. Just in case you need to deactivate the unit remotely for whatever reasons. So let's go ahead and bust open the app right fast. First, click onto the menu tab. Next, open the settings menu. Next, open the cloud menu, scroll to the bottom of the page, and follow the steps. More than likely, you may not ever use this feature, but it's best to have it and not need it. Then yada, it is yada, yada, yada. All right, let's keep it moving. On the back of the unit, there is your restart button. Moreover, you will have to restart the device if you perform a remote shutdown. Below the restart button, there is a reset button. Most cell phone release pins should give you access. The system has two 3.0 USB ports, and below that is your Ethernet connection, and rounding off your rear end interface connects is your power supply port. The device will require a constant power supply to function. So here's your power cord, nothing too fancy, and here's your thick ass Ethernet cable. I'm not quite sure the, why these cables are so thick. All right, let's keep it moving. Connecting the unit to your network is a simple process. Plug one end of the ethernet cable into the router. Next, plug the opposite end of the cable into the MyCloud Home Duo unit. After you have successfully connected the unit, Windows 10 will automatically recognize the device, create a desktop shortcut, and then map the device as a network drive. All right, let's KIM, keep it moving. Setting up the device requires you to have a Western Digital MyCloud account. After you have set up your MyCloud account online, you can begin to invite family and friends and they can create individual accounts. Each invited person can set up their own private space and the invited person is the only one that has access to that space on the device. All right, next. So the MyCloud Home Duo is a dual bay 8 terabyte hard disk drive system. And this is coupled with a Realtek A53 quad core processor. The CPU is a 4K UHD multimedia system on a yada, chip. Yada, yada, yada. Let's keep it moving. 
Next, I will show you how to bust the unit open, giving you access to the internal hardware. So let me try to pry the top off so I can expose this. Each hard disk drive has four terabytes of storage space, effectively giving you eight terabytes of storage space. So let me explain how that works. The device has two configuration modes, full capacity and mirror mode. In mirror mode, disk drive one will copy everything onto disk drive two. So if disk drive one decides to front on you, you still have a backup on the working drive. In full capacity mode, you have access to the entire 8 terabytes of cloud storage. However, on the downside, if both drives do decide to front, there is a possibility you can lose all of your shit. But I doubt that would happen. Okay, let me close this and next I will show you how to switch between hard drive configuration mode. So let's open both the mobile and the PC version of the app so we can bust down the two configuration modes. Click settings, click onto your device name, scroll down until you find device configuration. Now by default, mirror mode is already configured, but if you would like to shake out and rock all eight terabytes, I would suggest using the full capacity mode labeled JBOD. All right, let's keep it moving. So Ty, in the event drive one or drive two does decide to go rogue, what can I do you ask? You can purchase a replacement hard drive from a third party seller such as Newegg, Amazon, and maybe even micro center i did leave some links in the description all right let's keep it moving another high value feature that the my cloud duo offers is the folder sync function this feature works like any other cloud-based storage service such as dropbox or google drive so basically this function allows you to have access to all of your files across all devices so bust the meat as i show you how to sync up a folder right fast also this can only be done from the pc so select your desired folder drag and drop it into the my cloud home duo Next, right click onto the desired folder, then click make available offline. Now this folder is available to you offline. Also, everything that gets saved to that folder will get backed up and synchronized to the My Cloud Home. This way, if you're in the park or you're on the bus, no matter where you are, you will always have access to these files. All right, next. Another useful feature the system offers called ShareLink allows you to share the entire folder and its content, but be mad careful of what folders you share and who you share them with, because that folder is no longer secured within your MyCloud account, which is protected by your account's password. So as we close out the video, using storage solutions like this can free up a lot of space on your mobile device as well as your desktop. But hear me out, bust the meat. If 8 terabytes is just not enough cloud storage, you can connect an additional MyCloud Home device to the MyCloud Home Duo unit, effectively expanding your storage capacity. All right, folks, the MyCloud Home Duo 8 terabyte will cost you between 360 and 390 green stamps. In my opinion, this is a nice ass piece of tech and I can recommend this particular unit basically because of its simplicity. The device is easy to set up and start using. All right, folks, I have taken up enough of your time. And if you did find any of this information useful, feel free to bless that like button, bless that subscription button, and of course, bless that notification bell because it really does help small channels like this one grow. It's your boy Ty, hold it down. I catch y'all on the rebound.